Good morning everybody. This is Mike from Extreme Fishing Products coming to you on this beautiful sunny Florida day to bring you our new jet ski fishing setup. This is probably the fourth setup we've had on this jet ski as far as fishing goes and I must say that this one puts the other ones to shame almost. Um, this setup we have here um, is really on another level. <laughs> Uh, you know, we've fished everywhere on this thing. We've fished offshore, we've fished inshore, we've fished uh, the flats, we've fished pretty much everywhere. So what we have here, uh, Extreme Fishing Products, which is my business, obviously. Uh, we've now become a distributor for Fishmaster uh, PWC accessories. And we also carry uh, the boat T-tops and things like that, but... We had a, a pretty big marine flea market down at Harbor Town Marina and, uh, in Merritt Island over the weekend. And we decided that, um, you know, we were going to start stocking these products. They're the only company that makes a universal uh, arch that's relatively inexpensive. I mean, uh, you know, you can get a front and rear arch with two fishing pole holders that look just like this one. It's all aluminum, stainless steel, marine grade um, bolts and stuff. Minus, this is something I installed, but uh, you can get that. Two of these, two arches for $795. Um, you know, with all, I have eight fishing pole holders on here right now. We're going to be adding another two. Um, but when it's all said and done, uh, minus the powder coating, you guys could be in this setup for less than a thousand bucks. Um, you know, for the 795 plus another, you know, six rod holders, you're at about, uh, you're actually just over a thousand bucks. So that's not bad. I mean, uh, you know, considering, you know, some of these boxes and things and art and, um, you know, the cooler racks and coolers and all this other stuff you have to go with. Um, now these arches are real cool. Um, they they actually fold right here. You can take this. And they they make uh, for an additional charge. You can get a um, like a thumb screw that goes in here, stainless steel thumb screw, and it actually will allow you to take this down. You can take the arch completely off. The only thing that stays permanent are these uh, feet, which have two screws that go in there, and we seal them up with some good 5200 silicone. Um, so now back to the fishing setup. Um, this is basically what we have. Uh, you know, we have four upright holders in the back, two trolling rod holders in the back. We have two trolling rod holders in the front, and then we have this arch. We also I've also installed a um, electronics mount up there, which is going to be getting a full size VHF radio. And if you look in the back. There's also a VHF antenna mount on the back of the arch here. Now, the cool part about these arches, um, you know, this doesn't mean to be a sales pitch. I'm actually really trying to show you guys that I really do like this setup. But um, I was about 20 miles offshore a couple weeks ago, and I actually fell off of my jet ski trying to fix a problem with my live well in my big box. Luckily, I was out there with people, um, you know, but the box ended up being a little bit heavier than I thought it was, and I couldn't get back on the jet ski. I had, you know, eight fishing poles with me. I had, uh, you know, all my tackle. The live well was full of bait with water in it, and uh, it just made the back of the jet ski ride real low in the water, and it made it really hard to board. Well, with this setup, the way I have it now, I can climb right back on this thing using the everything provided by Yamaha the step the handles everything it keep totally keeps my back deck clear keeps everything up off of it you know one big thing that I stress especially when you're going offshore fishing on these things is safety you know you don't want a high center of gravity you don't want a big load on the back of the jet ski you know you want to be out there to fish comfortably so and that's what I did with this setup um, and it really works out great what I do you know, everybody's like, well, where do you keep your drinks and your fish and stuff? Well, I have a big fish bag. It mounts pretty much the whole length of this foot well here. And, you know, I usually put a gallon of water in there, a bunch of water bottles, you know, 20, 20 to 40 pounds of ice, you know, a small cooler with my snacks in there. And there's still enough room in there to be able to fit, um, 
you know, a big kingfish or mahi or whatever you catch. I mean, the, the fish bags really do come in handy when it comes to this type of uh, setup here. And then as far as my tackle goes, these fishing pole holders are very, very, very strong. They're really on here. And this thing will hold some weight. So what I do is I just take my tackle bag and I slip it over here and just let it hang. And it does, it's a, you know, waterproof bag from Bass Pro Shops. Holds all my tackle. I can get to it easy enough. Um, Extreme Fishing Products is also going to become a dealer for this company called Tackle Webs. Um, it's a really, really cool, innovative product. They have, um, you know, it's basically a mesh bag, kind of similar to this product here. Um, and it, um, you can mount it to pretty much anywhere. I mean, they have ones that are adhesive. You can mount right here in this area if you wanted to. They have ones that hold down with like bungee cords. You can put on here if you wanted to. And they hold, you know, all your tackle, all your small stuff. You know, you can put tackle trays in there. They're just really, 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 really cool, innovative products that we're going to be bringing to this market. Um, to be honest, I'm actually thinking of putting mine right here along this. And then I'm going to put like two small tackle trays on each side. And then I won't ever have to get back into my tackle bag. You know, as long as I have all the stuff I usually use, that'll work out great. Um, so yeah, this is the setup. Uh, these little bags right here, they're actually cup holders. They're actually made by Fishmaster as well. I use them to hold my weights and hooks and lures, you know, I hook my lures on there and stuff. Uh, they work out really good. And then they also came out with this bag. It has like a, a clear front with like a mesh back. So it's not waterproof, but it, it does, you know, it'll hold, you know, I usually throw my pliers and things like that in there. And then walking to the other side, you guys are going to have to excuse the sun, but um, they also make this thing, which is really, really cool. You know, if you generate a lot of trash, you know, I like, I like to take my eight-year-old son out on this all the time. And this trash bag here, you know, usually is full by the end of the day. By the time he gets done drinking his sodas and eating his snacks and doing his whatever he does, you know, it's full. Plus, you can throw, you know, if you have tackle and storage and things like that. All right, sorry about that delay in video, guys. The FedEx guy just dropped off some products. We ordered for a customer through Fishmaster. Uh, he ordered a couple of these awesome fishing pole holders and we'll be able to get those out to him today. But um, another thing that we added were these six and a half inch wakeboard speakers. Uh, I still have to install the amplifier for these. And before I do that, I'm gonna be doing the um, dual battery setup with this, um, you know, with the onboard uh, relay for charging. And I'm gonna probably also add a internal battery charger to keep this thing charged up but um you know i'm sure you guys have seen the rest of my videos um you know with the various racks and boxes and things that we've used um as far as i'm concerned this setup has worked the best so far um you know i don't have a live well right now like i had before um, which isn't a huge deal because I usually bring, I have a small, you know, bait bucket or whatever I can throw over the side, which tends to work okay unless I'm offshore with the big bait. But um, I'm going to be working on another box that would go on the back, but it's going to be a, a lot smaller. It's probably only going to be like a 30 quart box because I still have all my plumbing for my live well coming from where my jet pump or my water spout used to be in the back. Um, and then everything else in the jet ski, as far as electronics, have stayed the same since the last video. You know, I still have the hydro turf on the sides. Um, this actually was a really big hit. We went out to this show, and everybody from boat people to jet ski people to whatever you can think of, they were all interested in that hydro turf, um, which I'm actually going to probably contact hydro turf to see if there's any dealers or if they have a dealer um, network that I can be come a part of because uh you know i don't think there is one in this area and and everybody loved it they loved it more than sea deck and the other options that they have um the lawrence is still working great um with the exception of the transducer it, it's kind of hinky in and out you know sometimes it'll read sometimes it won't but i've been fishing a lot on the intercoastal lately because it's been pretty windy offshore so it's been working out for me because when i fish on the intercoastal i don't even use it other than for GPS function, because the water is only three feet deep, four feet deep in the river out here. 
And this is a better picture of the speaker. Um, we picked these speakers up online. Uh, I believe they were like 90 bucks. They're pretty cheap. Um, you know, they have the a really good clamp on there that'll clamp on any T-top or anything like that. They're made by Rockville. Here is the model number. They make an eight inch one too that's a little bit more expensive, but it has the push downs. What we'll probably do, I haven't decided whether I'm gonna drill a hole here and put like a like a kayak through hole fitting there. Whether I'm I mean this is such a short run, I can get right up into here without even having to worry about the wire being in my way. Um, but then again, I also don't want wires hanging off of this thing either. Um, and we could also drill a hole in the side there too, but which will probably end up happening anyway because I have to run my wire for my VHF antenna back here. So it's probably definitely going to be getting a hole on one side for at least one of the wires. But that's my setup now. Um, you know, it's been working out great. Um, we're going to be taking it out Saturday out here uh, and uh, we're probably going to go in Sykes Creek and see if we can get some snook and some uh, redfish and then maybe go out uh, beachside and see if we can get some black drum but we'll see if you guys want to join us let us know this is Mike with extremefishingproducts.com I'm going to post a link at the bottom of the page here and uh, you can also visit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash extremefishingproducts <clears throat> just so you guys know uh we are doing a production box which i have used on this it does work great it was i used it on here before i got this arch in the back um it's a 64 quart uh roto molded you know cooler box it's one of our extreme fishing products coolers that we modify and we put uh three i'm sorry four 10 inch adjustable removable legs all stainless steel hardware it's got four uh articulating adjustable feet that uh, adjust up to four inches. They're all stainless steel and plastic. Uh, you can, you know, find those um, on our website. They're five hundred fifty dollars. We make them by hand. That you know, all the components have been hand picked out by me. You know, obviously you guys see I've had tons of setups on here, so I know that that box works great. Um, you know, so and they'll fit on mostly any jet ski. I mean, they're pretty much designed for this Yamaha. However, with the adjustable feet, you can get them to fit on anything. And I designed them so that they sit up high. You know, the box pretty sits, you know, pretty high above the seat. So that way you can actually get into it. You know, when you have a rack, the rack sits down here in the back. Then your cooler sits here. And then your fishing poles are out here. You know, and that's a pretty long ways, especially if you're getting pounded out there in the surf or whatever. Uh, you know, all of our fishing pole holders are on the sides of the boxes. And there's two trolling rod holders in the front. Uh, everything stainless steel, marine grade stainless steel on it. They're a really, really great addition to your fishing setup if you want something that's completely removable. Um, we've had a lot of questions lately about the U-shaped box with the live well. Um, we actually have that box for sale right now. We have that box and two other prototype boxes for sale. Um, I don't have a, them here with me now. They're actually locked up in my shop, but... Um, once uh they're all for those three are for sale for four hundred dollars of prototypes you know one has uh is designed specifically for this fxho it's got uh permanently adjusted or permanently mounted feet to the bottom of it it's a 64 quart box that one uh is four hundred dollars we have the big u-shaped box with the live well that one's also four hundred dollars and then we have one with adjustable feet um, that we ended up using different attachments to the cooler box itself. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It just we ended up going a different route with the box, the way we attached the legs to the box. But uh, <coughs> that one is $450, and that has the removable, adjustable feet and legs on it as well. So if you guys are interested in those, uh, you can check out the video. I did a video yesterday, which I will upload today to YouTube. It's already on our Facebook page. But um, you can check that out, and that will basically run down the box for you and show you what it's all about. So, this is Mike with Extreme Fishing Products, guys. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful week. And if you guys want to hit the river, the Indian River, on Saturday with me and my son, let me know. And we'll go out and we'll see if we can get on some redfish and stuff. So, have a great one, guys.